Hello, this is Melina Ray Johnson with Four Nerdy Girls with Melina Ray Johnson. That's me. And today is our new series called I Hate Networking, the ABCs of how to make friends in business. Today is A is for ask questions. So who am I? Again, I'm Melina Ray Johnson. And why am I qualified to help you with your business and your stuff? Because I have done over, I've done hundreds of informational interviews and video coffee chats. I even did one today and I have more schedule. So look what I, I am still not great at this whole, this is why you get my poop, poop, poop. But okay, so back to me. I went to Loyola Marymount University for film school and I went to University of Southern California for business school where I got my MBA in marketing, entertainment, and entrepreneurship. So if you are a lady who is creative and professional and you want to make other friends who are ladies who are who are professionals, especially if you're an entrepreneur, I am here to help you build your network. All right, so I hate networking. A is for ask questions. So Asking questions is incredibly important when building your network and trying to make a new business friend. So I will give you an example of a situation that you may find yourself in, in a situation that I found myself in over the past decade many, many times. So let's say you're going to a networking event and you're already like, oh my gosh, I'm going to this event. We're going to go out. We're going to make sure that that something good happens and hopefully we'll make some connections that are useful to me at some point in time in my career. All right, so you're out at this event and you see people just mixing and mingling and doing stuff. Now, what you don't wanna do is just hand someone your card and say, hey, let's connect because they don't know who you are. What you can do once you say, hello, and then hopefully the other person will say hello back, Sometimes people are weirdos, so you're going to try this with a few different people at your event, whatever it is. And you're going to say, hey, I'm such and such. So, for instance, I'm Melena. And then they'll say whoever they are. And you do the, the first question you ask is not, what do you do? You ask, how are you? The most important thing to figure out is, how is this person? Not what they can do and what they can do for you. You need to ask questions. And as many of you are women, a lot of you are not just out there spouting out who you are and what you do and what company you represent and how you can help this person that you don't even know. Luckily, that is not you, so you don't have to worry about that. What you want to do is find out more about that person. Not just what they do, but once you find out what they do, ask why they do it. Ask about that person as an individual. So you're not gonna just start asking people questions that, that, that are just weird. It takes a little time to say, hey, maybe they're drinking a drink. What, kind, what did you get to drink? Or, oh, this food is, is great. What do you suggest? Or, how did you hear about this event? This is a big thing because everyone's at the event many of them for various reasons, whatever the event is, regardless if, if it's an event that is for, I've, I've been at these events, it's for National Black MBA Association and people who are interested in the banking industry. They may have gotten an email, they have, may have seen a flyer, they may have been referred by someone at the event. Ask them how they found out about it. And then they'll tell you and go a little deeper with them. Oh, that's great. Um, uh, I let them know how you found out about it. Maybe you have people in common that you can talk about. Find something in common that you can discuss with this other person and keep asking them questions in a non-obtrusive way. So the idea is not just to present yourself as this is who I am. Once they, once you know, you've got the conversation going, then definitely volunteer who you are because they want to know. But don't start off by just telling people who you are or saying, what do you do? Ask them about who they are and learn why they do what they do and what they're looking to gain from the event that you are at. 
So now let's take it to a different sort of interaction with somebody. So you're not at an event anymore. You Maybe you have met someone at an event. You didn't really get enough time to talk to them, but you'd like to, you'd like to set up coffee with them later. So you've set up the coffee, gone back and forth on email, and you said, hey, great to see you again. Now you already know what they do. You already know who they are. You know what they're working on. And this is the time for you to ask them deeper questions based on the information that you already know about them. So by this point, let's say you've set up coffee with this person and you are meeting for coffee for 30 minutes, preferably. You want to know more about who they are. You want to know more about what they do. You want to know more about why they do what they do. You want to know more about where they want to go and when they want to do this, so when they want to do this by, yes. And how can you help them get there? So that is a question that I like to ask in each of my uh, video coffee chats is how can I help you get to where you want to go? Most people are surprised because most people are uh, maybe suspecting that uh, everyone wants to sell them something. Now, I don't have anything to sell anybody right now, so I, I couldn't even if I wanted to. I'm still figuring that out at this moment, which is March 5th, 2018. But how you can help that other person get to where they want to go and wait for them to answer the question because this is not about you trying to sell yourself or you trying to get something out of them. It's about you showing a genuine interest, on, not just in this person in front of you, but helping them achieve their goals in life. Not everybody has goals that they are aware of or that they know how to articulate, but just asking the question of how you can help them once you establish a, a, um, a deeper relationship is really important and it shows that you're interested in them, not just based on what they could offer you or what connections they have, but that you're interested in them as a person that you can possibly help. So again, A is for ask questions. And in each interaction that you have with people, the main things you want to find out are who they are, what they do, and what they do should not be the first question, and why they do it so that you can learn how you can help the other person achieve their goals. Ideally, this is going to be a two-way street, so I don't want you going out there thinking that you're gonna solve everybody's problems and they don't need to do anything to help you. No, you should be offering your help, not your services, to these people so that you can develop a better connection with another person. Okay, so that is A is for ask questions, and this is the I Hate Networking, the ABCs of How to Make Friends in Business series with me, Melana Ray Johnson. And if you have questions, please leave a comment if you're on Facebook or email me at fernerdygirls at gmail.com. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please email me at fernerdygirls at gmail.com. And if you'd like to talk with me more about how you can connect, communicate, and collaborate with other professional creative women in business, please email me at write your, not write your first, I know, I know where I am, at fernerdygirls at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.